Coach, what do you like in, about an event like this? This is always exciting. You know, get out to see our fans, our supporters, people that's been with us, you know, for, for decades and here, and give us a chance to kind of, you know, let them know what's going on in our program, build some questions. Always a great time. Last we saw you, it was coming off a loss. How do you look back on this past season? Uh, you know, we had, it was a good season. We had some good moments. We could have been, had a better season, but I thought we had some good moments. You look at some of the wins we had, you know, a win against Miami at Miami, a win versus Memphis at home, a win versus Michigan at home. All three of those teams, postseason teams, you know, two of those teams, 316, and Elite Eight, you know, Memphis to the we got to 32. Round of 32, so really good. I thought, you know, all in all, we beat some really good teams. I thought at home we were terrific, 15 to three at home. So I thought we did a really good job at home. I just think I thought we had some untimely injuries that didn't help us any. I thought COVID hurt us as well. You know, we lost the time with COVID, missing out on Florida State, opportunity to play them. Tulsa got realigned because of that, to play them at a later date. So uh, some injuries and COVID kind of hurt us, but you know, 18 and 12. You know, I'd like to see us be a lot better. But I, all in all, I thought it was a, a good season for our guys and, and looking forward to a better one next year. It's been a busy transfer portal season. Let's first talk about the losses that you've had. Isaiah Adams, Darren Green. What were those conversations like with those young men? Uh, you know, it was, you know, it, you always have the end of season meetings and, and guys are going to make decisions. You know, we live in a different time now and guys want to explore the transfer portal. And it's just part of our game now. You know, we, it just finally caught up with us because we haven't had to face that. But that's been going on for the last few years in most programs. We're losing five, six players almost a year. It just hadn't happened to us. So for us, you know, kind of seeing it happen around the country, when it happened to us, we're a little bit kind of, you know, I won't say prepared, but we understood that that's the way basketball is going. It was trending where guys want something new. They want new experiences. And, and so they're going to look for different opportunities. And so that's what happened. And when we look for an opportunity to continue to get better ourselves. How does a program like UCF avoid getting plucked like that and having some of your best talent taken by other programs? Well, I mean, you know, I, don't, I wouldn't consider it plucked. You know, I, I think guys are making decisions based on you know what they're looking for, you know, basketball and beyond, and know that this is going to happen. You know, I think, you know, at the same time, you know, we're, you know, I think there will be enough players for us to find guys that, are, that fit our program well that continue to help us, you know, achieve the things that we want to achieve. You know, I look at the opportunity to get better. I don't look at the opportunity to get worse. I see this opportunity to get better. So when you guys are leaving, that means you have opportunities to bring other guys in. And so there are a lot of really talented players in the portal that are looking for opportunities to land at a place like UCF. We're very attractive and we're hot. And so we're excited about those opportunities that have been You've been busy in that portal. Tell us about some of the new faces. Uh, well, we're excited about all the new players we have coming in. We have a young man by the name of Ithiel coming in from Pittsburgh, shooter. Uh, you know, played well in the ACC, has some really big games against some really good teams in that conference. Uh, we're excited he's a shooter, but he can also put the ball on the floor and make plays. Uh, we, Brandon Suggs, of course, a young man from ECU. Everyone should remember him. He has double figures in our conference. He's tough to average double figures in the uh, American, as you know, you see in our conference a lot. So he's done a very good job. Really good defensive player, so I think that helps us defensively to get better with a guy who can guard multiple positions. Uh, you look at a guy like Lahat from out of Utah, a big that's experienced, has played four years in college already, played in the ACC, he's had a successful career there. So adding him, it's kind of like Bakke, very active, big, can run the floor, he makes a lot of plays with his effort and energy. Uh, he's going to low post, excited to have him on board. Uh, we all know Michael Durr from, from you know, South Florida, but also from Indiana this past year. Averaged like nine and eight in our conference. I mean, a guy that's, that's already proven, you know, being, at being successful in our conference. He understands what this conference is about. Excited to have him as, as part of our program as well. So, so we feel really good about the guys we have. And then we brought a JUCO point guard in, a pure point guard, someone from JUCO that we felt, you know, Jaden Jaden would be a great guy to come in, facilitate it, makes guys better. And uh, just to compliment our backcourt with another guy that, that's a pass first guy. So excited about that. And we're not done. <laughs> I mentioned a few guys, and we're still, in, we're still looking in the portal now. We still have some scholarships available, and uh, we're going to try to make the best decision for our program. you got a couple of freshmen that are highly touted coming in, too. Talk about those twins. Uh, definitely. We're very excited about our freshmen. The two twins are terrific players, both of them. Uh, you know, of course, everyone knows Taylor. Taylor is a terrific player. He's uh, 
highest recruited player in program history, ranked number 54th, I think, by ESPN. So no player has been recruited at UCF ever that's, that's been rated higher than him. And I think uh, he's a terrific player. I think he has a bright future in our program. I think he's going to make us better immediately because of his offensive skill set and also what he does defensively and rebounding the basketball. I think he really helps us in a lot of areas. And his brother's a terrific shooter. He really shoots the basketball. Got to get a little stronger, get a little bigger. But you know, they're both freshmen, so you know we got to make sure we keep that in mind. But I, I love their talent. I love I, who I think they're going to become as players. You think they can make an immediate impact on your roster in this up, up, upcoming season? You no, know, I think I think Taylor definitely can. I think he's I think he's skilled enough. He has the size, and all he does get a little stronger. Uh, Tyler, you know, I think he's still developing, but as he gets stronger, though, and you never know how that fast that happens. But he's going to he's going to be able to impact with his length and with his ability to shoot the basketball. Coach, the athletics program, a lot of success for the women's programs, and now softball moving on to the Super Regionals. What do you think of the job the women's sports have done throughout this sports year? Oh, so proud of our women's sports and our team. They've done a terrific job. I, mean, they, I see them all the time, you know, how hard they're working and, and to accomplish what they've accomplished. And I'm just very proud of them. Like, I think everyone at UCF is. You know, they've done a terrific job of, of developing their players and nurturing them. And, and you see the results of what's happened. You know, the guys, the, the women's teams are having a lot of success. And, and I think that's still yet to come for those programs as well. How do they further help enhance the brand of UCF, especially for you on the recruiting trail? Well, as long as we have a success here as an athletic program, you know, which we are. You know, our programs out here are having success. We've had success. They're having success. So as long as that continues to happen, it enhances the entire brand of UCF. It enhances our university. It enhances each one of our programs individually.